uh, people from Austria. They are speaking German, but it doesn't mean they are the same. No, no, they are definitely not the same. And this is, you know, the biggest mistake which we can do is saying like, oh, they are all the same. You know, they, they speak, um, I would say, it's not the same. It's not the same German. So it's not Hochdeutsch. Uh, and, uh, for example, in, Sw in Switzerland, when they speak uh, Swiss German, I don't understand 90%. I don't know what they are talking about, you know. I'm sometimes feeling like, uh, what's going on? So, um, and we also need to remember that, for example, going now to Switzerland, as I started, there is nobody who will be a typical Swiss. Because we need to remember that in Switzerland, uh, we have four lang official languages. We have different cantons uh, where you have different cultures. And yeah, that's why it's difficult to say, you know, that, that how are Swiss? And um, and as well, uh, so, you know, just funny fact, they have also, you know, different TV channels. They don't watch the same, just it's translated. This is like completely different. So, you know, when we talk about the German speaking part where I also live, I would say that Swiss are more um, chill, more um, relationship as well oriented. Um, but I would believe that, I believe that this is also, you know, the area which made them in that way, in the sense, you know, that they live, around nature, they are more relaxed in this aspect, they are more, um, Switzerland is smaller, so you know, they also like to know who is around, it doesn't mean that they will talk to you, they will much more, you know, observe or just say hello, uh, for me, you know, huge success was that uh, my neighbor after one month being there told me finally hello, as <laughs> the first one, <laughs> yeah, we have a relationship, <laughs> uh, but, but you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit different, um, and uh, we also need to remember that huge influence it, on us as a humans uh, has not only language which we speak, even if it's the common one, uh, but has also like different, uh, different factors, and here, one of them, it's religion, so Austria is, uh, is a Catholic and um, Germans, uh, they are Protestant. So, you know, we can see these differences. The Germans, um, that's why we perceive a lot of time Germans, you know, they are, uh, you know, uh, having head, you know, upper and thinking that, you know, that they are better. It's, it's not that they, each of them will walk on the street and say, like, oh, I'm better than others. It's much more that also in their religion, one of the values is that you are the one responsible for your life. So you take a lead and you should know what you want. So, you know, it's also about self-esteem. In Catholic religion, it's, you know, my culpa, my culpa. So, <laughs> so it's like my fault, my fault, and so on. So definitely we downgrade ourselves. So we also need to look at this, that, you know, many factors, many uh, things influence us, who we are and how we might be perceived. Do they like each other? You know, I, I never had a situation that, you know, that officially they don't like each other. I believe, you know, that in every place around the world, we have, they, they have some historical, regional, you know, mis, um, okay. miscommunication, let's say this, or, you know, the, like disliking each other. So um, officially, I'm not aware even of, of this, you know, facts that, for example, they don't want to work together or, you know, talking one on, on others. Yeah, so, so, you know, Swiss definitely are... Uh, they are neutral, you know, they don't like to, to take a side or have some arguments with somebody, they like their own life. And, and that's why probably, you know, uh, they are able to have one country created from different languages and so on. So, um, so I believe that this is neutral. Um, it might be something between uh, Germany and Austria, but to be honest, I'm not aware of, you know, I'm not now bringing all stories and so on. I need to, uh, I need to go deeper with this because with Austria, to be honest, I'm, I'm not that familiar. Have you traveled to Vienna, maybe? Uh, like Austria more, if I compare it to Germany, for example? Like the roads, uh, everything. Yeah, so definitely, you know, you can see the quality. I'm, uh, I'm always bringing this example from Switzerland that when once I was uh, traveling by car and uh, going from um, German part to uh, Italian one, so you just cross a, you know, <laughs> a border between uh, two cantons and then you could see that, oh, you are a different one. This is not German <laughs> because even the roads were like worst quality. So we were laughing that always like in Italy. Uh, so I definitely love and probably this is the reason why, you know, I spent so many years and as well I'm building uh, my life uh, in German speaking countries because I like this kind of or no, it's, it's not always, you know, that this, this is everything, how we imagine that it's perfect, but it gives me comfort. The quality, like life quality is definitely um, for me in the higher standards in the sense that, you know, people, they know what they do. 
uh, in um, to give you, you know some living like example from where I was living in, in Germany. So of course that you need to uh, in certain days you can throw away you know certain things to the bin and you can't leave them on the street you know in different days. Or as well I love this and this is common for Germany and, and Switzerland that if you don't need some things you just take them outside in front of your building and other people they can just take it. And it's amazing for me, you know, you don't need to uh, think like, oh, to which office or to where I should, you know, take them and give them to people and so on. You just leave them and if others want. So I would say, you know, this is also a huge respect of your privacy, which I really like. It's people, of course, it's, you know, generalization, but they don't sneak into your life in a sense that they need to gossip, they need to check. It's it's kind of freedom. And this is what you uh, mentioned before, you know, um, uh, about the Germans that... That's why maybe I've never heard about, you know, certain topics related to, you know, very private parts, because exactly, nobody nobody should judge, you know, you are free to do what you want. Uh, and what I miss definitely after living in uh, in Germany, for example, in Berlin, it was when I back to, to Poland, for me it was difficult that, you know, people are judging what you're wearing, how you're wearing, and so on, uh, how you look. In Germany, it's like, do what you want, don't hurt others. 